hello everyone thank you for joining my tutorials today we'll see about the ensemble algorithms okay so if you have seen my previous videos in that i have explained you how we can able to perform the classification using the random forest then support vector machine and also the card classification okay so when you'll prepare all these algorithms we can able to perform the ensemble algorithms on it okay so what does it mean by ensemble? If you search ensemble algorithm, ensemble algorithm can be used in Google Earth Engine to improve the accuracy of predictions by combining the predictions of multiple base models. Okay. So what it is doing usually, ensemble algorithms combine the predictions of multiple base models to improve the accuracy of predictions. These base models are usually simple machine learning models such as a classification and recreation trees. Okay. So what is the benefit of this algorithm? Ensemble algorithm can improve the robustness of predictions against overfitting and improve generalization performance. So when I tried this algorithm, then I'm getting better accuracy because it removes the biasness of a single machine learning algorithms because here we are combining the multiple algorithms together. Okay. So like in the last video, I have seen how we can able to do this three classification. If you didn't watch this video, I'll recommend you please watch this video first and then you can able to understand how you will able to do the in symbol algorithms as well. Okay. So first thing is that you need to add your study area here. Okay. So like in previous video or when we have doing the random forest classification that time also we have added this. That time also I have explained you about this Landsat image collections. So here, if you'll see that first thing is that I'm interested to add my region of interest. Okay. So this is nothing but my region of interest ROI. So after adding the region of interest, okay. I'm interested to know the image collections okay so i'm interested to prepare the map using the landsat 8 data set for the period of 2023 fourth month and fifth month in between that what are the image i'm getting please filter it with the region of interest okay and after that filtering it i want it within a five percent cloud cover so what are the image available in that i just want to have it within a five percent cloud cover then I'm creating a dot median here. Okay. Dot median means here we are creating a band combination. If I'll right click and if you'll we'll left click here and then just stretch this. Again, you click on the stretch. If I'll uncheck this, you can able to see this is nothing but an our band combination image. Okay. So that dot median it is creating and I'm clipping with my region of interest. After that, here is the visualization, visualization parameter is there band five, band four, band three. So that when you'll go to Landsat at band combination, then you will see the combinations here. You can able to change the different, different combinations like seven, six, two apply. So if you'll see this, you can able to see this, the vegetation area and it also appear in a dark green color. So you can able to change the different, different bands. Okay. And you can able to visualize the thing here, like five, four, three, apply. Now this will appear in a dark red color. Okay. So you can able to change your band combination and you can able to visualize the thing here. And after that, I'm selecting the training samples here. Okay. So water body, vegetation, you need to interpret the things here using the band combinations. You can able to change the band combination and you can able to interpret the things, which area is barren land, which area is uh, agriculture land, vegetation land, and you can able to provide the training samples there. Okay. Like here, I have provided the training samples. So after adding the training samples, we can able to mark a buffer to this because this is the point and 30 meter buffer I will mark. 
because this is the Landsat 8 image and having a 30 meter resolution. After that, we are selecting this 11 bands here. As you will see in the combination, there are total 11 bands are there. Okay. And after that, here we are selecting the sample region. Okay. So here we are deciding the training data for classification. And after that, this creating a training data for classification and assessment of data. So we are creating a 80% for the training data set and 20% for the testing data set. So we are creating training and testing here. And after that, these three algorithms, which we have seen previously, that is a random forest then SVM and cart. Okay. So this, we are trained this with this three algorithm after the train with this three algorithm, we are classifying the input image using the each classifier. Okay. So this code will helpful for the classifying the input image using the each classifier after it will classify, then we can able to combine all this algorithm using the majority voting. Okay. What does it mean that the majority voting implementation is if the sum of the classification is greater than or equal to two, assign the majority class. What does it mean? Like suppose, so like two classification is agree. Okay. Like RF and SVM, then it will assign a, that class. Okay. Like suppose two classification showing this is a built up area. Then when the two classification is agree, then it will assign the majority voting. Okay. So this work like this, if the sum of the classification is greater than or equal to two, assign the majority class. So for this, we are using this expression, then show the ensemble classification result. Okay. We have did the majority voting and we want to see that. So we are providing the color blue, red, yellow, green. So if you'll see here, when you will see the map, then these colors, we can able to provide that like a for built up water body and everyone we can able to classify it. And after classifying it, we are able to validate this result. Okay. Validate the ensemble method on the test data set. So we'll validate this after validating this majority vote on the test set. So this is all for the validation. And after that majority vote logic use the E algorithm. And uh, this all for the validation code I have used here. And uh, this is here we'll get the confusion matrix. We'll get the confusion matrix overall accuracy and Kappa will get here. And then F1 score also will get. So you'll see here that uh, this is the confusion matrix. Then overall accuracy is 95% and uh, Kappa is 92%. And after the validation, uh, we can assign the F1 score as well here. F1 score for each class. And we can able to export this to the drive. I'm interested to export this majority votes. Okay. So this I'm interested to export into the drive. So if you'll see the task from here, you can able to click run and we can able to export this map into our ArcGIS or any environment, whatever the environment you want to open, you can able to open this. Okay. So this way, so last time we have seen there are different algorithms we have used. So accuracy was nearly uh, 90%, 92%. When you'll combine all the algorithms, then you'll get the better accuracy. So combining all these algorithms, we are using the ensemble algorithms here. So it will work as a majority basis mostly. So majority voting, it will work. And based on that, when there is a two classes will have a majority, then it will assign a that class. So this way you can also able to apply this algorithm in your work. So if you're having any doubt regarding all these things, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you require any help with your project work, you can contact us. Details are given in the description box. If you like this video, you can share with your friends. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.